Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Allie. Today I'm eating rice. Um, I'm not really going to be doing a... Oh my god, it's so hot. It's like burning down my throat. Like I have this thing where I over reheat things because if I even get like a little bit of like a lukewarm temperature and then also a little bit of really hot it like freaks me the fuck out so I overheat and overheat and overheat and then I usually let it cool down but I'm really kind of hungry so I am eating my rice uh, hot which is stupid but I got that gene from my father who burns himself every time he takes something out of the microwave hello everybody welcome to my channel today is not going to be a like super talky um video i literally my mind just went blank it forgot the word video today i'm going to be going uh, and this is probably going to end up being a voiceover but now that i say that it's probably going to end up not being a voiceover because i have this thing I have this thing. I do this thing where like I have a plan and then it ends up not going that way. Um, so we'll adapt, we'll overcome, we'll improvise. I'm going to be going and playing with my Natasha Denona. Oh my God. Okay, I hate, I have both of these palettes and they like the leather, they stick together and they're really gross when they like. Can you hear that? It's just, yeah, so I can't store these together. I have to store them with something in between because they gross me out when they stick together. Um, and the reason I'm going to be playing with these is because I also got the new uh, Joya palette. This is her holiday one. A lot of people had issues with theirs uh, shipping, breaking, shrinking, falling out of the pans. Fortunately, mine has come completely 100% just fine. Um, it's gorgeous. I've already done like the, the turnover test, you know, that Tati did and all of hers fell out. This is a newer formula that I haven't tried, but clearly I know a little bit about Natasha Denona because I love these eyeshadows. I have gotten every single one of these palettes on some sort of sale. I have not paid full price for a Natasha Denona eyeshadow, and I will not ever pay full price for a Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette because while I do think the quality is incredible, I think it is outrageous to spend $239, $65, on an eyeshadow. So the same, and I always say the St. Von Center palette, so that's just what it is today. The St. Von and Center palette from Kat Von D is also like in the $60 range, but you're getting this many shadows versus $65 at Natasha Denona is gonna buy you five shadows. I have a much clearer conscience personally when I spend it on something like this versus something like this. That being said, yes, I did buy it um, and I am going to test it out today. At this juncture, I'm going to start eating my rice. I'm going to start putting on my criminal minds. I'm going to start zooming it in, just looking at myself, makeup and shit. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So these are the shadows swatched. First we have Red Grape, which is a metallic. Then we have Peach Gold, which is labeled as a duochrome, even though I don't think it's a duochrome at all. Gold is a cream powder eyeshadow with a metallic finish. Next we have Star Bronze, which is a cream powder shadow that is a chroma crystal. And finally we have Fuchsia, which is a cream powder shadow that has a matte finish to it. Moving down the line to show you the rest of the shadows in this look, we have Aubergine from the Purple Blue Palette, Flamingo from the Green Brown Palette, Amara from the Lila Palette, and Nude Vino also from the Lila Palette. All of these shadows have a matte finish with the exception of Flamingo, which is more of a satin. So the first thing I'm doing is just going in with MAC Paint Chili Paint Pot, any base you have will work, and I'm setting that with a powder that is my skin color. Then I'm going to go in with Fuchsia, which is the matte color in this palette, and I'm just working on the crease. I'm going in really lightly at first, and then I'm going to go ahead and pack the punch, make it a little bit brighter, make it a little bit deeper, you know, blend it out, all that good shit. Next I'm going to go in with some glitter glue, because Natasha Denona shadows are great with glitter glue. I'm putting that on and then I'm using Star Bronze as the Chroma Crystal and I'm patting that on the outer like three-fourths of my lid and then I'm going in with gold on my finger just on the inner corner. Next I'm taking Red Grape and I'm going to use that on the very outer corner and kind of the V into the crease and I'm blending that just a little bit, a little bit of the depth kind of effect there. 
uh, that's always super fun. And then I'm gonna go in with Flamingo and use that to go under the brow bone and kind of blend the crease into the brow bone. This is Aubergine and I'm gonna deepen up that crease. I feel like I keep saying the word crease. Sorry about that, it's just it's what it is. Um, but I'm using that to deepen up the color and then also bring the shadow out in a kind of a wing towards the end of my eyebrow. This is a Mara and I am going to use that under my whole uh, lower lash line and then buff it out with uh, nude vino with a little bit of gold in the inner corner. Next, just some white liner in the uh, waterline concealer, which I'm putting, you know, on my face, setting that with a loose powder, and uh, you know, and now it's just random ass shit. So you, I figured, like, you can see it. I don't know. You know, eyebrows are always super fun and stuff like this. This um, voiceover is turning out just as well as I thought it would. So <laughs> sorry about that. But, uh, ooh, you know what I love more than anything? Oh, hell yeah, girl, look at that. A new fucking mascara. <clears throat> ooh, just, it's just the most satisfying shit, honestly. It's just so good. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, so now I'm just applying mascara. And, uh, back to you, Allison. I was literally looking for the clicker. I was everywhere, 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 everywhere. It's right in front of me. 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 Is it, is it behind me? No. Is it to the side of me? No. Is it right in front of me? Yes. Yes, it was. All right, so this is the look that I came up with. I'm actually really, really happy with how these eyeshadows performed. Like, stunning. If you're gonna apply Natasha and Anona eyeshadows, I highly, highly, highly recommend you use your finger. It's the technique that she uses, and I think that she formulated these eyeshadows to be used by her the way she does her makeup. So I have no problem going in and using my fingers because it's kind of something I like to do anyways. However, I completely understand if this is something that you are not down with. Eyeshadows, zoomy zoomy, zoomy zoomy. These eyeshadows performed really, really, really well on me and I love how this came out. It looks slightly different in real life, I wanna say, um, but the metallics are so, I didn't, Put like lashes on or anything. I don't know. Kill me. Don't kill me. Uh, sue me, but don't sue me either. You know, you 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 get what I'm saying. You know. So that entire Zoom footage ended up being fucking useless. It was so bad. But essentially, I just wanted to bring you in closer and tell you that these blended incredibly well. That they were a joy to work with. Yeah. So I'm gonna go eat my rice and finish this episode of Criminal Minds. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you enjoyed any of this, chill. Let me know. If not, I apologize. I will do better next time. Please don't fire me. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening type time whenever you are watching this. And I will talk to hopefully all of you soon. Bye guys. Hi guys, so I just wanted to say that after I turned the camera off, I ended up picking fuchsia back up, which is that really bright fuchsia color uh, from the holiday palette. And I brought it all the way down into my inner corner, but not on my eyelid. Bringing the shade down further uh, really helped it look a little more polished. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm making these faces. I don't know what else to say. And then this shit just kind of like, blurred out. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, I will talk to, hopefully, all of you soon. Bye! Bye!